All right, welcome back. We are on part four of our Metal Gear Solid Let's Play. We just fought the the ninja, and now we are uh, having to make our way to meet up with uh, with Meryl. And we met Hal, Emmerich. And, uh, gotta just keep it moving here, folks. We're making tracks and make it through the dead bodies and such. Famas bullets! Hard Do 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 do. So we are about to come to probably the most famous or infamous uh, boss fight in the whole series, and probably in video gaming period. Um, We're going to be fighting, uh... We're going to be fighting Psycho Mantis. I'm going to show you the trick to defeating the Psycho Mantis. And, yeah, let's hurry up and get out of here before we start losing our life. Like that. Phew! That was close. That was close. I got like nothing for SOCOM bullets. Again. There we go. B1, please. We'll meet up with Meryl on this floor. Cardboard box B. All oh, right. That would be Meryl. And if we rush in here really quick, don't move. She won't have have had time to change completely. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to <laughs> try and hit on me, Snake. Oh, come on. You know you like it, Meryl. You know you got Besides, the hots for Besides, it's snake. a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Oh, yeah, right. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Mm. Huh? Oh, this? It's the old fox It's logo. a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. Nope. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. That's cool. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I it's your butt. lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? 
on the battlefield, you never think about what's next. <laughs> So, Snake, now how are the negotiations shaking. going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? Card keys? <laughs> Anytime you someone says card Where keys, someone others? asks it. There should be three It's keys. like, you've got this card keys? This is all I've got. Card keys? Where be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground Come on, Snake. To Think back to Zanzibar to. land. Think I about this Gustavus place than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. <laughs> I don't like Got to it. waste bullets. I'll be careful. Just be a good girl. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. Yeah. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. That's too bad. I've You're always pretty. despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. I know, you told me. But I was wrong. Nah, but I... It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not Actually, really. no, he wasn't. I He's... thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him Snake's, better. Uh, so are you a soldier yet? Officer. I thought I was until today, CEO. but now yeah, I understand. Officer. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, Take what a good I'm look. capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. Damn straight. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Pretty much. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Yep. Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Too bad. Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Yeah. That's pretty comfortable. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Mm. Very important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. I will. Whatever you says. Okay. Let's follow her. That's strange. There's no guard. Hmm. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Something really weird going on here. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. What's this? My head! Oh, it hurts! What? What's wrong? Are you okay? Don't come here, Snake! Um... Uh, what the... What the hell? Are you okay? Uh, uh, um... What happened? You know, I, I heard that those... I'm those fine. nano machines can do some weird shit to your brain. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, okay. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting.
Um, wh wh why is it that when I'm going... What? Ah! What the hell? Snake. Uh, How do you like me? I, I guess you're okay. What the? But do you like me? We just met. I, Hold me, snake. I mean, what's wrong? Uh, I didn't know you were oh, like hurry, this. Hurry, hurry, make love to me. But uh, seriously, snake. we really just I met, and you. I've got this mission I need to do. Who's that? But you I, don't like girls. No, I, I do. It's just I don't. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. Okay. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. Oh, that tune is mind control is? music. Don't use your weapon. Oh. Try to knock her out. Okay. Um, how about stun grenades? Stun grenades? Are those good? That works. <sighs> that worked. Useless woman. Up to camouflage, huh? <laughs> I hope that's not your only trick. You... What? You doubt my power? I do, actually, I do. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. Huh? No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis! Oh, so you're the one everybody's That's talking right. about. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Mm -hmm. Now, let me read your mind. Okay. No, perhaps I should say your past. I'll let you. You I'm are open. a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. Yeah. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. Thank you. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Uh, I'd say I'm cautious. Still don't believe me? No. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I can see into your mind. Dude, what are you doing? You like Castlevania, don't you? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Hmm. You have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. Not really. I can read you like an open book. Hmm. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Alright, if you insist. Put it down as flat as you can. Okay. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Um, sure. What the fuck? Oh my god, he really is moving my controller, everybody. What do you think now? Can you feel yes. my power now? Demonstration is over. Oh crap. What the hell? What? What? What just happened? What? Oh my god, that that was fucked up. All right, let's put on some thermal goggles. Get the uh, the famas out and uh, duck down. Uh, but you know what? He's gonna read my mind. I just got a feeling. Switch controllers. Hey. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I actually do need to change it, because somehow, it doesn't take the analog mode with it, which annoys me. Why? Oh, really? 
You're gonna do this to me again? Come on. <laughs> Now, in all seriousness, folks, I hope you appreciate how crazy this was in 1998. Like, this was unreal for people to have a game do this to them. Yep, just throw it around. I'll let you. You know, to have a game actually interact with the player... In a, in a in a fashion such as this. Oh come on! What the hell? Like this was something that had never been seen before. And uh, even though today it's kind of quaint, this kind of interaction. And it's more just like a little trope. Yeah, you can't read me. That's too bad that he can't read, though. Okay. Just stay ducked down. But, I mean, the fact that you actually had to physically change your controller for it, for this fight, I mean, it was unreal. And he, like, the interaction he has at, prior to the fight. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Okay, stun grenade time. Oh shit. You are powerful indeed. Yeah. But I know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and throw no, your no, 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 no. Ah! Stop! Meryl! Yeah, that's right. No! I cannot <laughs> No! You're, you're bad, but not that bad, dude. Just reload. Uh, you're almost done, Mantis. And there you go. That is Psycho Mantis, everybody. Colonel. One of the most memorable boss fights okay. in video game history. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten. Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. In theory. Why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see well, any woman uh, die right in front of me. Maybe oh, really? You like her. Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't I mean, mean he doesn't have Snake a heart. I mean, Snake is a man okay, after girl. all, and he's seen her, like, She's half right. naked. Strong man doesn't need to read the future. Yeah. He makes his own. Word. <laughs> Home slice. So, but I will read your future. Oh. Dude, don't don't go into my mind. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. 
hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. Behind the bookcase? The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Glaciers? Go past the communication towers. Communication towers? And use the tower's walkway. Tower's walkway? Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my the one thing about Snake's voice in this game too, David Hayter isn't nearly as gravelly as he gets of in the uh, by Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh women. my god. Oh, gross. Oh, does he look that bad? And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish an atavistic desire to pass on one seed it was enough to I mean, make me sick. I know his face looks like Every a potato and everything, but thing on this really? planet exists to mindlessly pass <clears throat> on that DNA. DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. I am. You're the same as us. As who? We have no past. No future. We live in the moment. Yeah. That's our only purpose. Yeah, I suppose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. Yeah. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and ah. misery. Oh my god. Is that a barcode on his head? The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childhood. Oh, come on. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't love your face? And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's Why when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. By whom? Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> Dude, you are freaking we me are out. We are truly the same, you and I. <laughs> the world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. No. His dreams of world conquest either. do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. This uh, speech she has is really interesting. I saw you there. I mean, if you, you think about it, it kind of puts in the question heart. why you A keep large playing. Place? And towards the end of the game, this yes. subject comes up too. It's large place. like, why are you playing this but game? Do not it's because you want to go through and, and kill. Because there really is no no non-lethal option request. to finish this game like there is the what other is Metal Gear games. My mask. All you have are lethal weapons. Put it back on. With the exception okay. of the stun grenades. Like but this. those will only knock out other people for a short time. Force their way into my mind before I die. So it's it's an interesting paradox. Myself. Like I want to be left the idea alone of world. like playing the game. Because you want to play like a a, a, a a military if you want to find simulator, your future, go through that door and sneak around and all that. Like it's a, it's an interesting thought. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels kind of. Kind of what? Nice. Huh. Maybe you should have done that more often in life.
Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. About what? Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. Wow. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. Don't be so hard on I'm it. I'm sorry. Man. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? Oh, what? About what Mantis said. What? I was just wondering. What? What's the problem Pain in now? the ass, woman. Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. <laughs> Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. Never. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. What a sad, sad man. Other people just complicate my life. Yeah. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Plug controller into controller port one. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, and see, it doesn't take... This is the one thing that annoys me. It does not take the analog mode, even though it won't let you switch it. Alright, so we've got that. Alright, let's scrounge the room for any leftover ammunition or anything. Alright, so we got the FAMAS. Okay, we're looking good. And there's some stuff down here. Nice. Alright, let's go. So now we gotta go through some caves. This will be a short little section. Could there be wolves in there? Yeah. Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Mush! I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Um, okay. If you want to get yourself killed by the dogs. <laughs> Rations. Very good. Always good to have. Need more rations, SOCOM bullets, bullet, bullet, bullets. Alright, we use therms. Yeah, we'd be using therms. This is the way out. Tough cave to navigate without uh, the use of the uh, infrared goggles or whatever the other goggles are, night vision. <laughs> Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. I was. But apparently they like women better. Oh, 
Oh boy, this is interesting. This place is mine. I'll take point How again. Do you know it's mine? Stay back, okay? But the radar is working. Ahead. And since we can't use the mine detector either. Leave it to me. Okay. You do what you need to do, girl. Me, I'm just gonna crawl right over and meet and meet up with you rather than uh, <laughs> you know, rather than just follow that long ass path that you're walking. Because I'll be able to pick up the mines myself. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? I suppose. How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little, a little bit. bit. Only a little? Yeah, it, that's faster than the path that she walked. Uh-oh. This isn't looking good. Meryl! What is it? Um, you don't even notice the red light on your chest? Meryl, get oh, down! Shit. <laughs> Why did you stand out in the open like that? Ouch. That looked like it hurt. Are you okay? Are you okay? Snake, <clears throat> leave me and run. No. Meryl. I guess I am a rookie after all. Don't talk. Don't like worry, that. Meryl. It's me they want. Even I know that. It's not the end for it's you the yet, Meryl. Trick in the book. Just use the snipers bait. using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. I'm not Don't shooting move. you. I promised. I would slow you down. I, I... I... I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. Save it. I was a fool. I wanted to a be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. No, there really isn't. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't Stop give up on Stop talking like you're about to die. Don't forget oh me. Oh my god. So dramatic. Now get out of here. You gonna get that? Jesus. Meryl! Damn. Snake. It's a trap. It's a trap! Sniper's trick to lure you out. No kidding. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers oh, usually work yeah. in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching Crazy. and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake. Can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, Damn it. take it easy. I'm going to save Meryl no matter what plan, it takes. Calm my shaking. Okay. Because apparently Thanks. you get like crazy shaking. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. Rifle. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... Mm. I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save well, Meryl. Is a snake I don't need all. an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, this is don't my worry. Snake. Thanks. 
I understand. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, unfortunately, now we have to go back to these caves. And before we do that, I'm gonna save. She'll die if you leave her like that. Aren't you going to save her? She's just bait. It's me they want. If I step out there, I'm gonna get picked off, and who's gonna save Meryl then? I'm hoping that as long as I don't fall for it, they'll leave Meryl alive. So you're just going to leave Meryl there? She's hurt. I know what I'm doing. Meryl understands too. That's horrible. You're right. It is horrible. But that's war. Wow. And the first rule of war is to stay alive. Exactly. Don't get mad at me. I have to get a sniper rifle. So I'm going to save here. Yeah, she's kind of mad at me. I'm going to save here. And uh, we're going to call that... What's that? Part 4? That's part 4. And uh, stay tuned for, for part 5. We're going to get ourselves a sniper rifle. And uh, we're going to meet up with uh, Sniper Wolf. And um, we're going to get a little torture. Which is going to be fun gonna have to mash the circle button like crazy so not looking forward to that but stay tuned for more of the let's play metal metal gear solid and as always keep on gaming thanks for watching